how to deploy Google AI Studio app. So this is the app that I built with Google AI Studio. I have been able to deploy and then hosted it on a free platform for totally free. All that I have to do now is to simply come in and activate the app by putting my Gemini API key right here, just like this. And after that, all that I have to do now is to simply come in and click on the continue to link it. And then as you can see, I have successfully done it. And then the app that I built have been deployed successfully for totally free. So let me try it for you to see. So when I click on the next, you see that my app is working perfectly. Let me show you how to do the exact same thing. Just go to Google AI Studio and then among the options, come and click on the build. Okay. And when we have the showcase in front of it, you have your apps, come and click on it. And over here, come and select the app that you want to deploy. For this tutorial, I'm going to select this one by clicking on it. The app is going to open just like this, okay? And now when you look at the top, you see that we have all these options there. The one that you are going to do is to simply come and then click on the download the app. So when you click on it, your app is going to be downloaded in a zip file just like this, okay? What I have to do is simply come and then click on show folder and then it is going to open just like this. Now what you are going to do is that you are going to unzip the file by simply putting the mouse on it, you right click and then simply come here to extract all and come and click on it. Now you have the option to come and then extract the zip file. So to do that, all that you have to do is simply come and click on extract and it will be extracted for you and then opened in this Okay, now all that you have to do is simply go to Google and then from Google search, come and type in Replit. It is totally free and then hit enter. And then come and select the official site of Replit by clicking on it. It's going to bring over here. Over here, you have the option to come and create an app. But come here to where we have apps and come and click on it. So when you click on it over here, to bring you right here to the apps folder. And what you have to do is simply come here to the create and come and click on the create. So when you click on the create, you have the option to use the replace agent. That is what you are going to use. And then here we have attached file. Come and then click on it. And then come and then select the folder that you extracted. Okay. And come and click on open. It will be open this way. Now you have to come and then select all the files within the folder by simply clicking on Ctrl A to select all of them. And after selecting it, what you have to do now is come and click on the open. It will be open just like this and then attach just like this. Okay. So after you have attached it, come and then write this simple test. Please make my app live on replay for me, just like that, okay? So after typing it, come and then click on Start Chat. So when you click on it, that is it. The Replit AI agent is going to simply provide you with a visual preview of how your app is going to look like. You have the option to come and then maximize the preview and then check that it is exactly what your app is looking like, okay? After that, come and then close the preview. And after closing it, simply come here and then come and click on Approve, Plan, and Start. Now your work is to relax, sit back, and then you will surely come across this error, okay? So what it simply means that you have to activate it with your Gemini API key. Let me show you how to get it. So to get it, simply go to Google AI Studio. Over here, where we have the arrow, come and then click on it to open it in full sidebar, okay? And then come and click on Google AI Studio. So when you click on it at the top, you will see that we have get API key, come and click on it. You can come and then create your API key. It's simple by simply clicking on create API key. When you click on it, it is going to generate your API key for you. Okay. And this is your API key. Come and then click on the copy to copy it. Please don't show it to anybody. It is your unique password. Okay. And then come and then paste it right here, just like this. And come and click on continue. And that is it. Your app is live and hosted. And as you can see, we have successfully hosted the app. We have deployed and then hosted it successfully. Now your job is to test it to know that the app is working. Okay. So let me try and then maximize it and then test it for you to see that everything is working by simply clicking on generate codes. 
because the app, the main work of it is that it generates code for me that I use to build several apps. And as you can see, it has generated the code for me that I can use to build my app. So my app is working perfectly. It has been deployed and hosted perfectly fine. Okay. So now the next thing is that when you want to just share it with the world, you can come and click on this deploy and then get a link to share it with the whole world. Okay. Now to see your app, simply go to the home and then click on it. And then when you scroll down, you see that this is the app that we built, but it is not having our name. Okay. So let's click on it and then rename the app. Okay. So over here, come and then click on this. Okay. And then you see that we have name. Come and then click this one and then put in your preferred app name just like this. After that, simply come and then click any place outside it and it will be automatically saved just like this for you. And when you go back to the home and then you scroll down, you see that we have our app in our name now. Like the video and then see you in my next video.